Today's video will be about Lucerne, a city with a well-preserved medieval core and elegant historic buildings located where the Alps begin, considered to be one of the most popular tourist attractions in Switzerland. Stay tuned to learn interesting things about Lucerne and what not to miss when visiting this beautiful city. But first, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Located on the shores of Lake Lucerne and within sight of the Swiss Alps, with a population of approximately 82,000 people, Lucerne is the most populous town in central Switzerland. The climate is moderately oceanic, with mild differences between highs and lows, and there is enough rainfall year-round. The average temperature in January is of 0.5 degrees Celsius and in July is of 19.1 degrees Celsius and there are about 138 days of rain per year. The origin of the name is uncertain and it is possibly derived from the Latin name of the pike, Lucius, or from Latin Lucerna, land. There is no documentary attestation of the founding of the city but there is a small fishing village mentioned in 840 as Luciaria. In 1178, it acquired its independence from the jurisdiction of Marbach Abbey and the founding of the city proper probably occurred that same year. In 1291, the monastery and city were purchased by Rudolf of Habsburg against the will of the citizens, who desired independence. Political instability under Rudolf's successors led Lucerne in 1332 to join the alliance formed by the cantons of Uri, Schwyz and Unterwalden in 1291. The group won independence after the Battle of Sempach in 1386 against the Habsburg army. In 1415, Lucerne gained Reichsfreiheit from Emperor Sigismund and became a strong member of the Swiss Confederacy. As the Confederacy broke up during the Reformation after 1520, most nearby cities became Protestant, but Lucerne remained Catholic. In 1798, the city was occupied by the French army and until 1803 was the capital of the Helvetic Republic, a French satellite state. In 1815, the Congress of Vienna fully re-established Swiss independence and the European powers agreed to permanently recognize Swiss neutrality. Lucerne is compact and easy to explore, with the old town and all the main sites within walking distance of the rail station. Lucerne railway station is one of Switzerland's principal stations and is well connected to the rest of Switzerland. Zurich, a few kilometers south of Switzerland's largest airport, can be reached by train in 48 minutes. The most famous tourist attraction of Lucerne is the Chapel Bridge, Capel Brücke, a 204 meters long wooden covered bridge originally built in 1333, the oldest covered bridge in Europe, although much of it had to be rebuilt after a fire in August 1993. Beside the bridge is the 34 meters high water tower, Wasserturm, a fortification from the 30th century. Inside the bridge are more than 100 paintings from the 17th century, depicting events from the Lucerne's history. Lucerne had another covered bridge that had survived for several centuries. Spreuerbrücke was built in 1408 and inside, on triangular panels under the bridge's rafters, are 45 paintings of the Dance of Death, known in German as the Totentanz, painted between 1616 and 1637 by painter Kaspar Meglinger and his students. The old town Lucerne is mainly located just north of the Ruse River and still has several fine half-timber structures with painted fronts. In the corn mart is the Altes Rathaus, the old town hall, built in 1602-1606 in Italian Renaissance. West of the corn mart is the pittoresque wine mart with a late Gothic fontaine. In the Kapelplatz is the oldest church in Lucerne, St. Peter's Chapel, built in 1178, but renovated to its present form in the 18th century. Remnants of the old town wall 
exist on the hill above Lucerne, complete with eight tall watchtowers. An additional gated tower sits at the base of the hill on the banks of the Rius. The twin towers of the church of Saint Leodegar, which was named after the city's patron saint, sit on a small hill just above the lakefront. Originally built in 735, the present structure was erected in 1633 in the late Renaissance style. The towers are surviving remnants of an earlier structure and the interior is richly decorated. In a small park north of Lowenplatz is the famous Lion Monument, a huge figure of a dying lion hewn from the face of the rock ledge. Designed by Bertolt Thorvaldsen in 1820, the monument commemorates the death of 26 officers and more than 700 troops of the Swiss Guards, mercenary soldiers who died while protecting King Louis XVI during the attack on the Tuileries in the French Revolution in 1792. Beside the lake, in the northern eastern section of the city, can be visited the Swiss Museum of Transport, a large and comprehensive museum exhibiting all forms of transport, including locomotives, automobiles, ships and aircraft. Famous composer Richard Wagner lived in Lucerne from 1866 to 1872 and his former villa now hosts a museum dedicated to him. The first large church in the Baroque style in Switzerland was built for the Jesuits in Lucerne on the left bank of the Rius River between 1666 and 1677. The interior was updated to the Rococo style in 1750 with an outstanding painted ceiling and ornate fox marble side altars. Other interesting attraction of Lucerne is the Glacier Garden, a museum built around the glacial pothole that had survived since the Ice Age. Exhibits also show how the changing climate affects the Earth. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting places in Lucerne that I forgot to mention, please write about them in a comment below. And remember that you can help our channel to grow by just pressing the like button and by sharing this video with your friends.